So in 1603, Arminius becomes professor at Leiden. Now bear in mind, he's got a letter of recommendation from Beza, who's a pretty tough nut in terms of orthodoxy, and now from Gomaris, but almost immediately after taking his position, rumors began to circulate. Is he teaching some students in private something different from what he's teaching in public? Then he wrote criticizing William Perkins on predestination. Only criticizing, never quite making clear what he personally believed. Um, he has the students reading Roman Catholic authors. What's going on here? What's going on here? And this led to growing tension, growing struggle, growing confusion. The synod begins an investigation, and then Arminius dies. Dies in 1609. Well, that's a, the end of the problem, right? Arminianism went away with the death of Arminius. Well, no, of course, that's never a solution to problems. It never goes away uh, in, in that regard. He left a legacy amongst his students. 